What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Summit Tech once again, and I have gotten my hands on the more power tool for the RX 6800, and we've been able to tune down the core clock and core voltage pretty heftily to get us into uh, 105 watts at 63 mega hash. I'm going to show you guys how to do that here right now. All right, so a couple things you want to keep in mind first of all is that you want you need to basically back up whatever your current settings are. Um, you're going to go to Igor's lab and I will get that link and put it in the description below and download the latest version of the more power tool. So if we go to more power tool, uh, it'll take us to this website. And like I said, we'll put a link down below do, 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 do with download and instructions. Scroll down here. It's a little sketchy cause we're mining. Um, and then you're just going to download the more power tool. All right, so once you download it, you are going to have to allow it, unfortunately, because, you know, it says it's a virus, you can keep it. Uh, I've been using it, no virus yet, but, you know, don't put it on anything with uh, financial information on it, just to be safe. That aside, uh, so once you have that installed, you will be able to install or, or run it, and then we're going to go over our settings here. So... What this tool is going to do is write registry entries into Windows 10, which will then translate over into the overclocking utility from Radeon. Uh, if you recall the previous video, what you should remember is that our lowest voltage on the core could only go down to 798 or 93, somewhere around there by stock. I'm going to show you guys how to change that, and that's going to be the biggest game changer of anything else out of being able to basically modify anything specifically for mining to get any sort of improvements. So what you're going to do is open it up and then you're going to select your GPU and it should open your power play tables. If it does not, you may need to load in a stock BIOS. Currently, you can only get the stock BIOS by extracting it via Linux. That being said, I have one here and I can provide it to you if you just hit me up in Discord, which I'll leave a link to down below. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we loaded the stock in, okay? And as you can see here, the stock has the minimum voltage of 793, minimum SOC voltage of 925, power limit of 203, TDC limit of 200, and TDC limit SOC of 30. So you can take this all the way down to 120, but it shouldn't have an effect. Uh, essentially, it has no effect if you uh, have set your minimum voltages, right? So the big thing here is you're gonna set your minimum voltage to about 612, 620 to maybe be safe. Uh, this is what I found is the, the absolute limit for the lowest core clock you can have before reducing either hash rate or having instability issues. So once you clock that down to 612, uh, all you have to do at that point is go ahead and you know save it or wherever you want, and then you're going to click the right SPPT. For this case, right, I'm going to go ahead and load my, my, my optimized one, essentially. And that's just because, I don't know, that's why we have, we, it's just, at this point we are messing with power limits and so on and so forth. The only thing that really makes the change right here is going to be the 612. So uh, I guess for an example, we'll just go ahead and use the stock BIOS ROM. So you're just going to come in here, go to minimum voltage, do 612, okay? And then you're going to save, and then you're going to write, and then you have to reboot the computer. So once the computer comes back up, you'll be able to go into your Radeon software, which I'll show you guys here in just a second, and turn that voltage down to 612. Now once you do that, you're gonna essentially be able to take your power consumption down from 125 watts all the way down to uh, about 105 watts at the best, averaging around 107 uh, watts, somewhere around there, 105 to 108 watts. All right, so you'll open your Radeon software, and these will be the exact settings you want to have on your system, okay? To get this to work, you're going to have your max frequency 
uh, at 1150 megahertz, your voltage at 612 megahertz, and then your memory is anywhere from 2100 to 2150, depending on your system, okay? I find 2120 to be the best uh, for this system out of the box. If you go ahead and overvolt your SOC to 1.2, you can turn the memory frequency up. However, I haven't noticed it actually improve anything, right? So anything above 2140, uh, we start dropping hash rate. And that's this particular GPU on this particular system. Your mileage may vary as always. We have our fans turned up and we aren't touching power tuning at all. So at this point, we can go ahead and get our miner running. Get my camera out of the way. Okay, so this happens sometimes as well, where the core clock will hang. A quick fix is to go ahead and do default on your tuning, let the core clock go back up, and then reapply your overclocks. Uh, this just appears to be an issue with the Radeon Adrenaline software right now. And I've run into it not every single time that we've made a change, but every you know little bit. So if you go make the change to the voltages or to the power play tables, uh, you may have to go ahead and reapply your overclocks. This can also happen just in general, even without making changes after a reboot. So keep that in mind. So we'll let the miner go here a little bit for you guys. And then we're back up there to that 62 mega hash. And as you can see here, we're at 108 watts. We're going to go ahead and confirm with hardware info. Scroll down to the GPU. And as you can see here, we also get confirmation at 108 watts here. And we'll confirm at the wall as well uh, with the kilowatt here in just a tad. And I will provide the uh, pictures for that as well. So before we start mining and after we start mining. Alrighty boys, so as I promised, we got the kilowatt over here. We're gonna try to verify as best as we can. Unfortunately, uh, at the wall power is not indicative totally of what the actual GPU itself is pulling. I don't have any sort of way to measure the PCI rail or the PCIe power adapters to get us exact numbers. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait for somebody like Bitsby Trippin to apply these settings and then check it out, hopefully, who, have, who does have the tools to pull that. Uh, that being said, at idle, we're at 30 watts on the total GPU power in uh, the ASIC power there, right? And then on the kilowatt, we're at 132 watts. So let's just say we subtract the 30 watts from the 130 watts, uh, and this is gonna fluctuate too. Uh, like I said, it's kind of hard to go ahead and, and dial it all in, but let's say that our system idle power without the GPU is 100 watts. All right, so if we say that and we go over here and we just ensure that our overclocks are all set like we've already gone over before, uh, with the 612 millivolts on the core. And then we come in and go into our miners. And we're going to go ahead and start mining some ETH. And there's a couple things we're really looking for here, right? We're going to be waiting until this spins all the way up. We're going to be taking a look at what it's recording over here. It does look like we did hang, so we're going to have to reapply overclocks real quick dialed in and then we just need to make sure that it's still hashing at above 60 mega hash a second there we go everything looks good and as you can see here we're currently sitting at 108 watts and then that's what it's reporting total um, however if you take a look at the kilowatt here let's see if I can get it up for you we're about 230 to 240 watts uh, meaning, if we our base is 100 watts at system idle, that we're looking at anywhere from 120, I believe it was. Yeah, we're looking at anywhere between 120 and 130 watts on the GPU. That's very imperfect, though, because when we start mining, we're taxing other CPU resources, other memory resources, so on and so forth, meaning the whole system is going to go up in power, right? And we've talked about this before in a couple other videos that I've had where it's really hard to calculate this unless you're measuring 
at the PCI rail or at the actual um, the pins. Now for me personally, I don't use anything more than a kilowatt because I need to know total system power, right? I think, uh, well, I think doing the videos, I would like to get some more tools though. Of course, we would have to uh, have the resources to purchase those tools because the tools to measure all that are quite expensive. Now, another thing that we could go ahead and maybe kind of take a look at here is what we're sitting at uh, on the CPU. And you can see here that I have it constantly overclocked, but even with it constantly overclocked, it does adjust voltages. So that's why you're seeing the big sway uh, in there. Regardless, we are sitting even with like a, what is considered a gaming system with an overclocked 5600X and, and all of that, we are still sitting at easily under 120 watts. And uh, it, I think that we're pretty close to what the software is reading as far as 108 watts about at 63 mega hash. So super, super promising here. Uh, we are essentially at 63 mega hash a second at 105 watts, uh, which is probably, well not probably, is one of the best undervolting cards as far as the GPU core goes of all time. Go, being able to go down to 612 millivolts is, is absolutely insane and maintain our hash rates. Uh, I can't wait to get our hands on the BIOS and a good BIOS editor because that will be fantastic. Uh, so. You know, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Uh, go ahead and get out there and may your hash rates be high and your watts low. See you next Tuesday.